My name is Murad Campbell. My name is Ashley Campbell. And we, we met, met at, at the, the airport. airport. We were on the same flight at the airport. I was sitting down, listening to my Isley Brothers CD. <laughs> and then Ashley walked over. The first thought that came to my mind was like, dang, she looked good enough to be my wife. Like, <laughs> that was literally the first thought I had. You know, we were talking for a little bit and my friend said, I think he likes you. And I was like, what? How do you, can you tell? He's like, well, he's looking at you. You're the only person he's talking to. And I was like, okay. I was nervous, but I was really trying to play it like cool, like try to make it seem organic. It's pretty obvious I was into you. <laughs> we get on the flight and I'm thinking, what if we're sitting next to each other? And no, I was sitting next to two old people. And then we landed and my friends were like, okay, we're gonna go to the restroom. We're gonna leave you here. Pretend like you don't know where the baggage claim is. You know, my friends all left. I'm just standing there and he's walking out and he's like, looks at me kind of weird. Like, what are you doing here? And I was like, oh, I'm just trying to find the baggage claim. And he's like, oh, well, let's go find it together. But in that time, a girl came up to him and I was like, oh my gosh, this is his girlfriend. She's picking up from the airport. I did not know that you <laughs> like picked up on like, oh my gosh, this is his girlfriend. And so I turn around and the girl has a man with her as well. So I realized, okay, this is not his girlfriend or whatever. It's just his friends who came to pick him up from the airport. But she totally could have blocked that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he got my number. I made sure I said it real loud. So I was like, hey, let me get your number. <laughs> And we can link up this weekend. So we met May 19th and then, you know, we went back to our homes. I was living in North New Jersey. And I was living in Dallas, Texas. And then we probably talked every day. I just would text her stupid things or just text her little jokes. I just would try to make sure that I was on her mind. And then by December, he had moved out to Dallas. So he quit his job, sold all his stuff, and then he cut, cut a train, I think, to, yep, I to Dallas. Right you know? after my last so we were, yeah, we were young and poor, so. I knew I wanted to be with her. Like that was like, I just wanted to get closer. I just wanted to be in her space. I knew from the get-go, like if this relationship was gonna continue, then we were gonna be here 17 years later. And he made that very clear. Like this wasn't just like a wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Or hey, I'm coming out to Dallas. I'm gonna just hit you up when I come in town. He was really serious and like he made a plan and he came through with it. I met you 17 years ago. And the rest is history. <laughs>